Hi guys, it's Autumn and today I'm at Six Flags Train Adventure in Jackson, New Jersey and I'm going to take you along with me. I just went on Houdini's Great Escape. It's a weird. It like rotates you upside down, but you don't, I don't know how to describe it, but it was a good ride. I wouldn't do it again, I don't think, by myself, but yeah, so I'm gonna go do some more rides and then I will check you guys later. So I'm on the train ride. I'm kind of and it's really cold up there, but it was fun. It's not too bad the height, it's just cold, so I couldn't really talk. But the person next to it nice. But yeah. Hi from anything on, I'm here to I had that day for lunch. We have animals from both North and South America here. And the first animals we're going to see are the fallow deer and the llamas. Let me talk about the llamas first off, because we're going to see some fallow deer later. But llamas are native to South America. They're a domesticated animal. They help out farmers with carrying very heavy things. Llamas have wool just like sheep do, and they have to be sheared every once in a while. Just like white-tailed deer that we have here in New Jersey, these guys have white spots, but the white-tailed deer tends to lose their spots as they age. Fallow deer, and they have the rhea bird. Rheas are a species of rat type, which means large flightless bird, and they live in South America. They have a very unique parenting style. The elephants and the other <laughs> human care can live to be about 80 years old. So they're still young. Their trunk is this. A dazzle is the name for a group of zebras. The lion. And their black and white stripes gave an illusion. And they hit ostrich. Ostriches are another species of rat type, just like the rios that we saw earlier. And they are very, very family oriented. If any animal, are an Asian animal, but we keep them here in the Africa section because it has the most water and they're water dependent. So they're here, so they're happy and healthy, and they also get along well with the zebras. And then we have the white, the white rhinoceros. And keratin is the same stuff that our fingernail into the air. That's one of the main reasons why they're behind the fence. Because if they were out here, they could very well just jump right into the truck. Along the fence. And it scares away predators, but it also attracts mates. Here's another. They hide so deep in the forest that it's pretty hard. The forests are pretty light. They're hollow on the inside and they act as a natural air conditioning unit for the cattle. Those are all back there. You can see how tall they are. Really interesting facts about them. They actually have to suck them down. And behind them is the scimitar horn. But we still had some under human care. And we were... Antelope's nickname is the Stand Your Ground Antelope. And it's because they are extremely confident. They don't back down from a fight. Let's say a lion were to approach them, they would use their thick muscular necks and curved horns to lift that. And a pride, if you didn't know, is the name for a group or a family of lions. And lions are the only big cats to actually live in this type of society. Every other big cat, like tigers, panthers, they like to live alone by themselves, but lions all live in families. Should link form when a few lonely lions. They can come in a variety of different colors. Most of them are black, but some can be cinnamon color, like a cinnamon red. They can be dark brown, light brown, blonde, sometimes even white. White black bears are very rare, and they can be Stan is here. Thing. So these will sigh on them to make sure they don't get into too much trouble. They are real life living teddy bears. But I wouldn't go near them if I were you because Mama Bear is very, very productive. The hour, Stanley himself. Stan is a very special bear. He was 
hand raised by our vet team. Doing? <laughs> and he does a little dance for us sometimes. He's a very happy bear. <laughs> So his story is that they can come in a variety of different colors. Most of them are black, but some can be cinnamon color, like a cinnamon red. They can be dark brown, light brown, blonde, sometimes even white. White black bears are very rare, and they can be, Stan is here. So these host eye on them to make sure they don't get into too much trouble. They are real life living teddy bears. But I wouldn't go near them if I were you because Mama Bear is very, very productive. And now we're going to see the man of the hour, Stanley himself. Stan is a very special bear. He was hand raised by our vet team. <laughs> and he does a little dance for us sometimes. He's a very happy bear. <laughs> so his story is that. <laughs> the tiger is the largest tiger in the world. All the tigers in here are siblings. There's five of them. And they were all born on the same day to the same mom, which is really cool because Siberian tiger moms usually only have two or three cubs at a time. This mom had five. They're playing, they're playing. They're playing. And they're not fighting, they're just playing like siblings do. I went on a safari ride. You can kind of see the poster behind me, and it was nice, a bit cold. It's like 50 degrees today. But yeah, I'm gonna go check out some more parts of the park. Here's some photos I took. I also had funnel cake and got some merch that I didn't include, but I hope you guys enjoyed watching, and I will see you guys next time.